Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to shoot a quick video today. Um, I hope you're all doing well, but I just wanted to get this out and show you a couple different options for um, making a box around your text when shell scripting. So that being said, let's just go ahead and jump into it today, shall we? So if we go ahead and open a terminal and clear the screen here and then zoom in, I am going to run a couple scripts here and we're going to look at the output of them and we're going to compare. So that being said, the first script I'm going to do is I'm going to do box.sh. I'm going to run that and you can see that I get a nice box that says this is an example of a box around my text. So kind of nice, um, gives you a little decoration um, and just real basic. Uh, now let's go ahead and run the second one. So we're going to do box2.sh and we're going to run that and we get the exact same thing. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference is one of them is static and one of them is dynamic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scripts, shall we? So if we vim into our dot local, actually let's go ahead and cd into scripts. Oops, if I spelled right, cd, c-r-i-p-t-s, scripts, there we go. And then let's clear the screen and we're going to vim into box2.sh we hit enter. So this is it. This is real simple. Um, obviously, this isn't a script you would do for anything for, but this is just a way um, if you're writing a script and you want this included in it, this is one way you could do it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's basic. It gets the job done. The problem with this script is, say I come down here and um, I want to change this. So let's do, this is a, oops. Oh, Jake another example of a box and then we write and quit now let's go ahead and run box 2.sh and we hit enter and now look our box is all screwy hmm that's not right well let's go ahead and run box.sh again and we see that box is still good so let's clear the screen and we're going to vim into box.sh and we're going to come down here and say we change this now to this is another example of a box that oops is dynamic and let's go ahead and write that we're gonna write and quit and now let's run box.sh again and oh but now let's see what happens when we do box2.sh so see this box here actually changes with the text so whenever you change your text in there that box will actually match the text size wise whereas this version down here will not so let's go ahead and clear the screen again let's go ahead and vim back into uh, box.sh and let's zoom out just a little hopefully you guys can still read that and then we're going to do control wv we're going to split that let's go in here and open box 2. so these are the two scripts this is the dynamic version and this is the regular version the difference is with the dynamic version we created a function and in that function we have the title which is a variable for the title and the title inside the parentheses is going to be um, the pipe symbol which you can see right here on the other side too um, and then one which is going to be the first argument which is going to be what we put down here and then we have edge well edge what that does is it echoes title this first line and pipes it into said and then it uh, for every letter that's what the period means here it's talking about for every character that's in the title it is going to give us a star and that's going to be globally for the full file so it's going to echo edge and then it's going to echo title which is this. So it's going to echo the edge, which is this um, command here, and then it's going to echo the title, and then it's going to echo edge again. And so that means whenever we change title here, whenever we change this, so I can put whatever I want to in this line right here, it's going to pipe that into said, and it's going to, it's going to print a star for every character. So basically it's going to substitute every character in that title for a star, which is how we can keep it the same length as the actual title. So the text in the middle and the stars across the top are the same length because um, because of this said command and because of this command that Edge does. So basically, whenever you change this, it changes the edges around it as well. Whereas this over here, whenever you change the text in here, you can see it runs over or if we uh, um, actually took out some text here, this example of a box, you can see it would run too short. So you'd actually have to change all three of these lines to match up um, every time you wanted to edit this. Whereas this one over here, you just run this function 
see right here we run the box function because we called the function box we run the box function and then we put whatever we want to text wise here in this string and it runs this function and then draws the edges around it. So nice and simple, nice simple way to actually make a nice looking box around your text, make it dynamic and change with the length of the text with only having to change the text in the box on its own. You don't have to go change the edges. So that being said, I just wanted to show that to you, uh, just show you kind of a cool way to do that. If you're into bash scripting and like to dress things up, um, functions are amazing, I love them. Um, again, I'm not a bash professional, I'm not a scripting professional. I am a very novice, very beginner. But as I learn these things and I see how cool they are, I like to share them with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Um, and I hope you can get some use out of this. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and God bless.